In today's episode, I'm going to share with you the weekly data on the housing market. It's not really looking good, guys. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If it's not, welcome back. Make sure you like and smash that like button. If you haven't done so yet, it really helps with the algorithm. We are trying to get to a thousand subscribers. We have 685 subs as of right now, and we would really appreciate it if you helped us out with that. Make sure you press the bell notification so you get notified when these videos come out. And let's get right into the data, okay? And this is their latest Redfin weekly data, guys, and the housing market update sales are slow to kick off new year, but more buyers start searching. Ha! Huh. I don't I don't know about that, man. It's uh it seems like zombie land out there still. It doesn't seem like there's much of anything happening, I'll tell you that much. And here's where they kick off. They say homes are selling at their slowest pace since the housing market nearly grounded to a halt at the beginning of the pandemic. Holy crap. The fact that data is being compared to the beginning of the pandemic is nuts. Pending home sales dropped 32% year over year to their lowest level on record and mortgage purchase applications dropped to their lowest level since 2014 whoa guys that's a big deal 2014 pandemic levels that's a big freaking deal that means we're headed for trouble look all the talking heads are talking about recession this recession that here's the thing my opinion i think we've been in a recession now history is going to prove or not this recording will be here i think we've been in a recession since 2022 the thing that's been holding us back from being in a recession has been unemployment now unemployment being so low and there's still being so many jobs out there still 1.7 jobs out there for every person looking for a job Okay, with that being said, what we are for certain is in a housing recession. When sales slowed down to April of 2020 levels, that is called a housing recession. We're talking about pandemic levels, guys. Everything was closed. Remember, it was illegal for many realtors in many states to even show houses. They couldn't sell houses. We couldn't rent houses. Here's some good news. The high mortgage rates and extreme weather at the start of the year deterred would-be home buyers, exaggerating typical holiday slow that but there are signs that the early stage demand is up of course redfin is going to say this redfin is in the real estate sales business right so we got to take it with a grain of salt google searches for home for sales are up are on a rise some buyers are likely coming in from the sidelines because mortgage rates have dropped remember guys people buy mortgage payments they don't buy houses i mean correct they buy houses but they first look at the payment what their payment will be and then they work it backwards my payment could be this i'm qualified for this and now i'm gonna go buy xyz house the typical u.s home sold for 351,250 during the four week ending january 8th that's up 0.08 from a year earlier but down 10 percent from the june peak so we are down guys we are down it is now january this is seven months. We are down 10%. <laughs> I hope we don't go down another 10%. We go another 10% like that. That's very likely, guys. I want you to know that that's very likely. So I can assure you from experience, the capital markets are brutal. That means the lenders talking to a lot of bankers and a lot of lenders. And the biggest concern right now in lending is we can lend you for bridge lending, but it's going to be like when you're getting money out, when you're going to take out the money. So to pay us back, right? There's a major concern for investors and refinancing right now because lenders are tightening up on their lending criteria. And when you you see lending criteria as a telltale sign. That means the market is tightening up. But this is where it's interesting. This marks the first time Las Vegas prices have dropped year over year since at least 2015. It's the biggest year over year price drop in San Francisco, Seattle, Phoenix, Chicago, Boston, Portland, and San Diego since at least 20. 15. As I'm looking at this and I'm experiencing the market and, and I'm out here doing business in real estate, we are in a housing recession officially. I'm calling that. I'm saying we're officially in a housing recession. It has been a buyer's market, but it really is a buyer's market right now. It is time for the buyers. Buyers, come out. If you got cash, it's time to come out and play. You know, you got a lot of guys here on YouTube saying, no, wait, wait, wait. Don't wait. There's no buyers out. I I'm telling you because I'm a seller. There is no buyers out. The data is telling us that the buyers are not coming out. Okay, and let's go into the leading indicators of home buying activity for the week ending of January 12th. 30 year mortgage rates declined from a week before to 6.3. This is a good thing. The daily average was 6.15 on January 11th. This is a good thing. By the way, as of today, when I looked at 10 year treasury, which is what dictates the daily interest rates, it was below three and a half. I think it was 3.4. Mortgage purchase applications during the week 
ending of January 6th declined 1%. That's not a good thing. My thoughts is that while the feds are going to raise rates a couple of more times, I think we'll see a rate increase in February. We might see one in March, but I think in April, May, we're going to start seeing a real slowdown. They may not even continue to increase rates because this is really having a major impact in housing. Think about it. When a transaction in housing is done, how many people got employed? You got mortgage brokers, you got realtors, title companies, you got attorneys, insurance people, contractors. There's so much that is stimulated to the economy when a home is purchased. I think that as more pain goes into the market and we start to see more of the housing sitting, the feds are going to come to the rescue as they usually do. Okay, so this is good news here where Google searches for homes for sale were up nearly 50% from their November low during the week ending January 7th, but down 17% from a year ago. I mean, it's only down 17%. We're up 50%. That's a good sign. This is a leading indicator. So hopefully over the next few weeks, we'll start seeing home buyer demand, which means people are looking for houses are coming back in based on Google. What I can tell you is that regardless of whether we're in a housing recession or not, the key to real estate is making sure that you buy right. I don't care where we are. We might look at this video five years, 10 years. Actually, I might reference this video in some time in the future. But historically, real estate always, always over the long haul pays off. The point I'm trying to make is don't wait to buy real estate. Buy real estate and wait. If you're an investor and your property cash flows, make sure it cash flows, you're in good shape. Who cares what happens with the value today, tomorrow, if you're in it for the long haul. If you're a homeowner and you're a purchaser and you're out here looking to buy a property, go out and buy. Go out and buy. Yes, I am saying it. Go out and buy. There's no buyers right now. There's no one in the market. It's, it's zombie land right now. Appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like, you smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you press the bell button so you get notifications when we put out videos like this you could drop us a comment we could discuss it tell me what you think thank you man peace out hey guys thanks for watching this video to the very end if you want to continue to watch videos like this one click this video right here i think you would enjoy that and if you want to continue to learn from me and learn how to create wealth through real estate investing check out my online course it's in the links below it's how to get your first off-market deal in under 60 days or less thanks again for watching really appreciate you guys peace out